Haley, we need to talk. Governor, I, I just don't feel the love anymore. It, it feels like every time I turn around, you're trying to get rid of me. What is it that I've done? I do good for us, and yet you're always trying to cut me out. All right, folks, a little play acting with the fact that Governor Haley, again, this year, as she has in previous years, has vetoed funding for the operations of the South Carolina Arts Commission. Now, she says that, overall, she said this over and over again, that the Arts Commission is not something that uh, government is a core government function. I would think that year after year of her, her, her veto being overturned, that maybe she would see that some of us in this state feel that funding the operations is a good thing, that maybe that's something that should be done. But this year she added a twist. She mentioned that 30% of the funds that go to the South Carolina Arts Commission pays for administration. And she said, well, who of us, who would, of us would donate to a charity where 30% of it goes to administration? And she's got a good point there. We want the money that's being spent to be spent wisely. But there seems to be this pattern among many of my friends on the conservative side that then when there's something amiss in an organization that they disagree with, let me be quick about to mention that, that the answer isn't, okay, let's reduce that 30% going to administration down to a more uh, accurate or feasible or better amount. Rather than trying to fix how things are done, the answer is get rid of it. Now, I'm sorry. When my van breaks down and has a flat tire, I don't go buy a new van. I don't say, well, I'm going to have to walk now. Now, I'll be quick to point out that the governor has said this, that the argument against her, one of the arguments is that she's not for arts in the school. And that's not true. It's the funding is there for arts in schools. But the Arts Commission does a lot of good things. And if the issue is efficiency, then let's address it. She worked on efficiency in the uh, DSS and, and uh, some of the other state agencies. Why not work on uh, efficiency here? Rather than going, and again, the argument that, oh, we, we don't have money, we can't spend the money. Unlike the federal government, we actually do have a little money. I know it's your money, it's my money, but we do have some money. But rather than trying to help us financially by a completely eliminating something that clearly somebody wants, not just the elected officials in Columbia, because they hear from us too. How about we, we, we work with trying to make the South Carolina Arts Commission more effective? How about we don't cut the funding for it to exist? She made the big point that she didn't cut funding that, that was going as grants or gifts. And that's great. But if there's not a commission to administer it, it's kind of hard for it to work. So, Governor Haley... Let's try a different tact. Let's try to find how to make the commission better. Now, this is just one of the vetoes that Governor Haley has made uh, this year on the budget. The uh, State House has overrode this, budget, this veto, and it looks like the Senate will too, so it looks like the Arts Commission will get their money. And I still say work with them to make it more efficient, but we've got... 70 other vetoes that the governor made on the budget that we'll be talking about on our next podcast coming up Monday. You can go to canigetawordin.com and follow us there and see what we have to say about the governor's vetoes and what happens when, what, what the State House did in response to those vetoes because they overrode quite a few of them, as they do each year. So that's on Mondays and check us out. And we will encourage you to like us on Facebook, go to our YouTube channel at Be Another Voice, and let us know what you think. All right, until next time, get out in your community and make a difference.